guys, Mrs. C here. Just want to take a minute and go over our week seven new grammar for today. Um, for a reminder, my class uh, next week is fall break. So we will not be seeing each other next week. So I'll give you plenty of time to review our first seven weeks of school. And then you guys will be ready for review week eight and know all the answers, right? Right. Okay. So uh, we started off today with geography as usual. And um, today I gave the kids candy first thing because I'm really smart like that. <laughs> but um, I've been trying to find something clever to do for geography to mix it up a little bit. And I had some sweet tarts and there are five different colors of sweet tarts and we are always learning five states and their capitals. So I figured that would work really well. So we went over each state and its capital, and then I um, called out a color sweet tart and the capital, and they had to tell me the state they were putting that color in. And um, we did that a few times, and then they got to eat their sweet tart. So that was a fun way to do our geography. If you're doing it at home, Smarties work really well, or marshmallows, any kind of small thing that you can set in the state. Um, if you want to incorporate a little treat in with them for geography. So then we moved on from geography and we did our history sentence today. Um, our history sentence was pretty, the music was pretty calm. Um, so we got our egg shakers out and since I knew that a lot of the rest of the stuff that I planned was going to be pretty active, we just kept this one really um, calm today and listened to it um, a few times um, in class with the music and just use our egg shakers and um, I erased, did erase some of the words off of the board just to try to make them start memorizing the words for themselves. So that was our history sentence for today. Um, for math, we had our 13s, just one set of um, multiplication tables this week. We're skip counting. Um, and so we had our 13s to the tune of Yankee Doodle. So we did that and I let the kids pick if they wanted to do um, the sitting standing or if they wanted to jump and they wanted to jump some of them wanted to spin jump so they did that too but um, we just went through said them first and then we sang them through several times and I let each kid come up and circle come up with numbers so we got them in more than seven times today but since there was only one multiplication table we had plenty of time for that um, so then we went on and we moved on to science while we were still standing up so for science this week we had what are four parts of the excretory system and um, just if you're a tutor, be prepared. They think this is hilarious and they want to make lots of jokes about it. So just get it out of the way from the beginning and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get actually get through everything. So um, so the four parts of the excretory system, I have to stand up to show you the first one. We did, whoo, I fall over my vacuum, goodness. That's right. My vacuum's out. That means I vacuumed, right? Right. Okay. So for the excretory system, we did urinary tract, like you have to pee. And then we did skin, it's so hot, lungs, lubrids out. And then we did intestines. So that's what we did for science this week. Um, again, be prepared for lots of jokes and um, lots of uh, inappropriate comments for science this week. <laughs> um, then we did English, and so for English we have another one of our regular verbs. So I um, had them starting lying down on the ground and we did the verb to rise. And so for each part of the verb, we would get a little bit higher up. So we laid down and we said to rise, then we set up and we says, we says, <laughs> I should learn a regular verb tenses. Um, we said rise rises and then we were then we got up and we're squatting down and we said rose and then we stood up and said rising and then we jumped and said risen and then we went right back down. So we did that seven times. So I did it kind of slow the first few times and then I made them go really fast the, past, the last several times we did it so they were out of breath by, at the end which was good because they had a lot of energy today. So um then we did our Latin, for Latin, it worked really well for four corners today because we had four Latin words. And so I put the um, words up in the corners of our room and we smushed the tables together in the middle so it gave them plenty of space to run around on the outside. And um, I would call out the English word and they would have to run to the correct Latin word. So um, I'll pronounce the Latin words for you just in case. So we have what looks like Vita or Vita, but it's Vita 
and Wita means life. And then we had Lux, not Lux, but Lux, which means light. And we had Homo, Hominum, not Hominum, but Hominum, and that means man, and Nomen means name. So again, we just put those up in the corner, and I would say, I want you to go to the Latin word that means name. And I would run to it, and they would say nomen when they got there. And then I'd say, I want you to go to the one that means life. And they would run to wita and say wita. So that's what we did for that. Um, and then the last one we did was... What am I missing? Oh, timeline. Hello. Um, so for timeline this week, we started with Jesus the Messiah. So the motion for Jesus the Messiah... As you use your middle finger and you're tapping the middle of your hand, um, so like the nails in Jesus' hand, Jesus the Messiah. Um, some people also make the um, C like you're doing a sash. You can do that as well, but my kids always do this, so that's just what we went with. So we did Jesus the Messiah. And we had Pentecost, so you're going to do like this because their words were coming out. Pentecost and up here, so this is their tongues of fire above their head. Pentecost. And the early church, we just made a big C on our hand. And then we had persecution, so we punched, spreads the gospel. So we're making a G on top of our hand, spreads the gospel. And then Herod, make our H. Herod's temple destroyed. So just kind of break those apart by Titus. So we're making a T. Then Diocletian. So we make our D, so like this. Diocletian divides the Roman Empire. Constantine legalizes Christianity. India's Gupta dynasty. So those were our motions for timeline today. Um, yeah, so that was all for new grammar. That went pretty quickly today, but they were nice and out of breath by the end of it, which was my plan. So then we moved on to our fine arts for today, which fine arts was 10 whistle. Yay! <laughs> um, they did pretty well with 10 whistle today. And, um, you know, just again, as we talked about in our opening assembly, be careful with them at home, running around with it and things like that. There have been accidents that have happened. So just teach them when you're at home to treat the tin whistle appropriately and with care. We talked about today, um, resting position, ready position and playing position. We also talked about, um, harmony and, um, unison versus, uh, cacophony and discord. And then we also started in discussing some of our more musical terms of staff and notes and uh, things along those lines. So um, if you want to go over some of that, that is all in your foundations guide. And I will tell you what page it is on. I believe all of the music stuff, if you haven't ever looked at this before, if you're one of my parents or if you are a new tutor and just haven't seen it before, it is in your foundations guide. And the first week is on page 158 and 159. So it's got all your stuff in there. Um, so you might just want to go over, again, the thipple, the mouthpiece, the barrel, the finger holes. Those are the different parts of our uh, tin whistle. And then for science this week, we started on my body project. So we talked about some different parts of our bodies and what they do. Um, and we went ahead and colored those and we'll be assembling those over the next few weeks. So hopefully you'll get to take home a really cool life-size version of your kid's body, which will be awesome. So, um, for review today, we did our rocket ship game again. We tried to blow through it really fast because we went upstairs to the gym and met up with one of our other classes and had some relay races, boys against girls, trying to race to point to the correct state uh, after we yelled at the capital on the map, so we had some geography races. So that was all we did for, uh, I almost said school. It's not really school. Community today. I <laughs> uh, had a great day. I hope you guys that are in my class have an awesome fall break next week. And um, for those of you who have been following my videos, um, I will not be doing one next week because we will be on fall break. Um, and I will be gone the week after that. But I will try to go ahead and do a week eight video for you all just to kind of keep up with those and that way I can also give my lesson plans to my sub that's going to be subbing for me. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great couple of weeks and I will see you in a few Tuesdays. Bye guys.